right guys for the clears itself what I've got is I've got the dark chocolate and we'll just start and it's gently warm it through a little bit there's nothing melted it's just melting warm through then I've got my um, sugar syrup which is basically toner water sorry 150 water and 250 caster sugar and I've got an addition of two gelatine leaves here they're going to go into the warm liquid it's basically liquid what I've done with the, the stock syrup is I've brought it up to the boil cooked it off for a couple of minutes become viscous and I'm basically I'm just dissolving the gelatine in there the gelatine is going to help it set a little better over a period of time And basically I bought this off the boil and I've let it cool down ever so slightly because I don't want it too hot. It goes too hot and the chocolate make it go dull. It goes too cold then it's going to become quite viscous before you even add the chocolate to it. So it's a balancing act. All right, it's a balancing act for your glaze. Okay. Give it up. All right. Some gelatine's in and it's dissolved in. Happy days. Happy with that. That's going to go in. To the palm melted chocolate, not like I say, not overly melted, just a little bit. And that is 200 grams of dark chocolate, okay? 250 sugar, 200 dark chocolate, and 150 water. And like I say, I've got two liters of gelatine in there just to help with the stabilization of setting. And basically, just bring it. All together, the chocolate will slowly dissolve because, I like to say, I haven't overheated. Uh, I've cooled that. Um, stock syrup down, which will help when it comes to the glaze itself. So a nice sheen on our glaze. All right, a couple of bits of kits I've got now. Oops, a daisy. Drunk and cameraman. So I've got a palette knife, flatten off and finish it off. I've got a little skewer that I'm going to pop any air bubbles and I'm going to get a cocktail stick as well just to make sure that there are no air bubbles on the finished product. As you can see, coming up nicely, nice and rich and smooth. Just takes a little bit of time. Patience, like I say, is always a virtue. Now it's all dissolved in, I'm happy with that. But what I need to do now is let it cool for a few minutes, all right? So I'm gonna stop recording again. So you're not watching the chocolate dry, as it were. Chocolate cool, and then we'll come back to it, all right?